what the hell is going on? The Suns are selecting Jalen Smith with the 10th overall pick? What just happened? Why would we pass on Tyree? Oh my God, no! What is going on? Please trade this pick. Please don't. My, I'm going to cry right now. What the hell? Uh, yeah, I think I owe Jalen Smith a massive apology. I might have overreacted a little bit on draft night. <laughs> Jalen Smith, I'm sorry. Please don't hate me. Oh, yeah, and by the way, you guys, I went live for four hours on draft night. It was absolutely insane. Things got crazy. I had reliable rants on there. I had Romp 2.0. It was a really good time. It was one of my most successful live streams ever so please smash the like button on this video if you guys want more crazy live streams i'll leave the link down below in the description you guys can go check it out with that being said let's dive right into the video hey there guys my name is brandon aka suns geek and if it has to deal with the phoenix suns i'm going to make a video about it that is right you guys the phoenix suns surprised us all when they selected jalen smith 10th overall in the 2020 NBA draft. And you guys, I think the reason that Phoenix Suns general manager James Jones selected Smith is because he believes in him. He said, and I quote, I thought he was the best fit. He checked a lot of boxes for us. We want to be athletic. We want to be long, adding length to the perimeter, his versatility to play the four and the five switch in the pick and roll, and more importantly, can attack the offensive glass. We thought he gave us an edge in our front court, close quote. Now, before we dive into the what ifs about this selection, let's continue to listen to James Jones here for a minute. He talked about Jalen Smith's character and his work ethic as a sophomore. He said that we cannot have enough front court depth. He said that he allows us to play with two dynamic bigs in space, and he's looking forward to watching Jalen Smith and DeAndre Ayton anchor the floor together. Now, look, you guys, I know that there's a lot of mixed feedback to this pick. I know that the Phoenix Suns could have selected Jalen Smith later in the draft. I know that Tyrese Halliburton was still on the board. Devin Vassell, Kyra Lewis, three of my favorite prospects. But guys, it is what it is. Jalen Smith is on the Phoenix Suns, so let's talk about him. This is an aggressive shot blocker who can space the floor for a big. He's a good shooter from the outside. He's versatile. He is a lob threat due to his size. He's a good screening threat. He sets strong fundamental picks forces defense to respect his ability to dive to the rim or pop out for a three. Now, I know that comparisons are really tricky sometimes, but a lot of people are comparing this guy to kind of Miles Turner. And Miles Turner is a good player. You know, there's Serge Ibaka, Kelly Olenek, Thomas Bryant, who is an absolute Suns killer. Now, you guys, is Jalen Smith the perfect prospect? Absolutely not. Just like many prospects in this draft, he does need to improve at some areas, but I am really excited to see how DeAndre Ayton and him will fit, especially on the defensive end. It's going to be really fun to see how that pans out later on. I am really excited for Jalen Smith, you guys. I am totally changing my tune on this pick. I was absolutely freaking out on draft day, and I didn't really know what to think about this. Again, because Tyrese Halliburton and Devin Vassell and Kyra Lewis and many others were still on the board. And that was the first thing I thought about. I was like, how come we didn't select one of those guys? How come we didn't trade back to get Jalen Smith? And in a way, you guys, I don't really feel like Jalen Smith is the problem. It's just where Jalen Smith was selected. I think that that's what fans are really upset about per my opinion. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully this makes a little bit more sense about why the Phoenix Suns drafted Jalen Smith 10th overall. If you guys are new to this channel, my name is Brandon, aka Suns Geek, and if it has to deal with the Phoenix Suns, I'm going to make a video about it. Valley Boys, stand up.